Hey guys, welcome to the studio. So today we're gonna do some ab Aboriginal inspired art. And this comes from Australia. If you don't know much about it, you should research it. It's really intriguing. Um, and I chose to stick with like the whole animal, like um, reptile theme um, that relates to Australia. So I did a gecko and here is my example. And so I'm gonna show you how to get started. All right, so today our project is Aboriginal art and we'll be doing um, either animals or reptiles. The supplies that you'll need for today's project are, um, you can use white paper or craft paper works really neat and you have the option of like widening it up and creating wrinkles in it. That really looks neat. Um, or you could do it on construction paper. It's really your choice. Um, we're gonna draw out the design with pencil. I'm gonna be using tempera paints, but you could also use acrylics. Um, I'll be using a black tip, a black felt tip pen for outlining. I'm going to use some Q-tips or pencils um, to create the dots in my design. Um, then paint brushes, of course, for painting. And you may need to look up some pictures of different Australian animals or reptiles so that you can come up um, with an idea for your artwork. All right, so step one is to choose an animal or a reptile and draw it. And so I have chosen to do um, a gecko for mine. And so I will go ahead now and draw my gecko design out on the paper. I will make sure to draw it large. And then I will begin um, on the background after that. So for now, I'm going to draw my gecko. Okay, so I went ahead and completed step two while I was drawing, which is to design your background by drawing trees, leaves, flowers, etc. And you can see that I chose to do, I did some like hibiscus flowers um, in the background. So my next step is step three, which is to paint my animal or reptile and then paint in the background. And so the main thing I want to be careful of is like right here I have, I'm going to do my gecko like a green color, but then I have a green leaf. And so you'll need to make sure that in places like that, they're the, not the same type of green or it will be hard to distinguish the gecko from his surrounding. So now I will go on in and paint everything in. Okay, our next step is step four, and that's to outline with a black pen. And then we're gonna dip the Q-tip in the white paint and kind of outline things. And you wanna wait until your paint is dry, but then I'm just gonna go around kind of quickly with my black pen and outline um, the gecko and maybe some of the flowers in my background. Then I'll choose which areas I wanna use um, the white dots to kind of make it look, have that Aboriginal art feel. You can also use like the tip of a dual pencil to make smaller dots and you can also in, um, use like the end of an eraser to make nice little circles and dip them in your paint. So that is my next step. I hope you guys had fun um, creating your Aboriginal artwork or watching me create mine. I will point out that I use not only the Q-tips, but also the pencil. I use the tip of it for the smaller dots 
And then um, in some places I use the eraser tip for those. So I kind of have like three different size dots between those three things. I think it helps when you vary it. So you could keep that in mind too when you create yours. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding lots more to come and want you to stay tuned. So thanks. Bye. Thank you.